Were you a bit excited to come and see the robot today? Yes, it's my turn. It is your turn. And today I think we're going to be doing some breathing exercises with the robot. Would you like that? Yes, please. At Rodney House School, we've got children with lots of different needs. Um, and abilities um, and a lot of them have barriers to their learning. Um, we have quite a lot of demand avoidance so trying to get that some academic learning can sometimes be a struggle unless you have something to hook them in and engage them. Two squares. One, two. Bravo! <laughs> Bravo! The robot is very inviting. A lot of our children like the robot because it's repetitive and they learn in such a repetitive way. Um, so it can be used as a motivator a lot of the time. If I need to do a bit of work and they're struggling to transition out from their preferred activity, I'll use uh, what we call a now and next board to say, now we're going to go over to the library and next you can have some time with QT robot. As soon as we show the symbol of the robot and go into the room, um, two of my children's faces just light up, they run straight in and these are children that are hard to engage with, you know, structured learning. Okay, I have a fun game to play with. Would you like to play a fun game with the robot? Please, help me play with the robot. just been phenomenal yeah and their attention week by week is able to extend so maybe it might be a couple of minutes to start off with and then six weeks later you've seen them be, some children being in there for 15 minutes yeah so that's a big progress would you like to play a different game or have you finished Ma. more you want some more robot good asking what do you wear A pink t-shirt today. Lots of our children struggle with communication needs so the robot's got fantastic games to for expressive language and promoting expressive language um, as well as receptive language. What is this? Oh, it's a pink t-shirt. Yes. Well done. So with the three children that I've been using um, QT with, um, they do struggle with social communication. They may use a little bit of communication to request something, now come into class and say hello, which is one of the apps, and goodbye. And Rodney even said the other day, see you later, which came out, of it. it wasn't even prompted, it was amazing. So to use communication for um, pleasure has been absolutely wonderful, yeah. You're waving at the robot. Oh, he's waving back to you, Milo. How are you today? How are you today? Happy, you've got a big smile. We'll do lots of turn taking with the robot. Your turn, my turn. So it'll be the child and the robot. And then we'll add me into it. So then it's the, the robot, the child and me. And then what we can do with that is we gain that trust um, between myself and the pupil and then we can transfer that skill into another area of learning and without the robots. Okay, whose turn is it? Casper's turn. Did you hear? Did you hear listening? Yep. Match the stage. Now it's my turn. Alright, Emma. Yeah, good sharing. You're doing really well. Um, got a huge success story in our Tiger class, which is actually our higher ability class. Um, there's a young boy in there who really struggles with regulating and controlling his emotions, um, especially anger. So he was practicing his deep breathing with the robot and now he is requesting, when he's feeling angry, he's saying, I want to work with the robot, which is amazing. I feel angry and upset, but I have to take a deep breath like this. Wow, fantastic, Eunice, what a good idea. Wonderful, taking deep breaths can help us to calm down. We can also sit quietly and count to 10 when taking deep breaths. The pupils I've worked with personally responded better to the robot in opening up about their emotions. It's like they, they took the pressure off them 
if it was me and the child. So they opened up more and was able to identify emotions more with the robot. They're really easy to use. You plug him in, turn him on and away you go. With my teaching assistants as well, I spend 10 minutes, show them how to use QT and they're flying with him and using him as well now. So mm. yeah. Just a fantastic tool to have in your teacher tool kit box. Especially working in a special needs school, you've really, really got to be creative. You know, each child is so individual and I really feel like you could use a robot in so many ways um, and re really, you know, inspire the children and help their readiness to learn. Bye, have fun in Tiger class. See you, some, see you next week. See you next week.